Ryan wants to buy a new phone that costs $873. He saved $36 for 15 weeks and his mom gave him $26. He earns $11 each time he mows a lawn and saves it for the phone. So far, he has mowed 38 lawns. How many more lawns does he have to mow to have enough money for the phone? So the first thing in this is let's unpack this problem. We have a couple pieces of information here. We have that he wants to buy a phone for $873. He has saved $36 over the course of 15 weeks. Okay. His mom gave him $26. And then he earns $11 each time he mows a lot. And so far, he's mowed 38 lawns, okay? So the question here is, how many more lawns does he have to mow to have enough money for the phone, okay? So there's a couple steps here. This is another multi-step problem. We've gone through a few of these. If you've been following along lately on my YouTube channel, we've got we're doing a few multi-step problems. So the first thing is he wants to get to... $873. Okay. That's our goal here. Now, he already has earned some money. He's already earned $36. And he's already earned $26. And he's earned $11 38 different times for mowing the lawn, right? So we already have a couple quantities here. So, so we already have 36, 26, $36, $26, and then $11 38 times. Okay, so total amount of money here, we don't know yet because it was $11 38 times. So we're gonna need to multiply that to figure out our quantity here. And then we can take all three of our quantities and we can figure out how much total we have already. And then we'll be able to see how much we still need, okay? So first let's do 38 um, times 11. Okay, standard algorithm here. Eight times one is eight. Um, one times three is three. One times eight is one, or eight, I'm sorry. And one times three is three. So we're gonna add all this up together. And we have, Eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and three, four. Okay, so so far he has this money. All these yellow highlighted areas here is how much money he already has. He has thirty-eight, six dollars, twenty-six dollars, and four hundred and eighteen dollars. And we're trying to get to eight hundred and seventy-three dollars. So we're going to add these three. We're going to add this one and this one. And this one and see how close we are to that 873, okay? So we're gonna take our 418 and our 36 and our 26. See how much money we have, Ryan has so far, okay? So we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the four just carries down. Okay, so so far he has been able to raise, collect, earn $480. Okay, he's been working super hard, mowing lawns, 
saving it over time. Okay, so and he's trying to rate, trying to get $873 because he wants to buy this phone, okay? Now, the only other way he can keep making money is by mowing lawns, right? He gets $11 each time he mows a lawn. So how many more lawns does he have to mow to have enough money for the phone? Well, he has $480. He's trying to get to $873. So how much more does he still need to earn? We're going to figure that out first. We're going to subtract 480 here. And we're actually going to do it on the next page because I want to um, show you a trick. Whenever you're subtracting, leave a lot of space above your operation or when you're borrowing and carrying numbers. It just helps keep it nice and neat. So see how much space I have above the 873? Oops, and I'm sorry, we're subtracting here. Okay, so 3 minus 0 is... Three. We can't subtract um, eight from seven, so we're going to borrow. That's going to become a 700 now, and this is going to become um, a, we're going to add 10 here. It's going to become a 17, okay? So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, okay? So nine, and then four minus seven is so he still needs to collect, raise, earn $393. Now, the only way he can do that is by mowing lawns. And he gets $11 each time he mows a lawn. So I want you to think of it this way. Think about it as how many groups of $11 are in this 393? Because really that's what we're asking. We want to know how many times he has to mow a lawn, how many $11 increments he has to mow the lawn to be able to get to 393. So imagine it as you have this 393 here. How many groups of 11 are inside this number? Does that make sense? Because each $11 is the one time he mowed a lawn. We want to know how many times he has to keep mowing the lawn. So we could just subtract 13 from this over and over and over again. But when you're taking a number and dividing it into groups like this, breaking it up, see how we're breaking it up? All these are branches of 11. We're breaking up into groups of 11. Whenever you're doing that, what you're really doing is you're dividing. You're dividing up that quantity into groups of 11, okay? So. We're going to use partial quotients here. Now, I'm going to start with 30. I'm going to do 11 times 30. Because I know that's going to give me 330, and that's going to break this number down real quick, right? You could do numbers that are more friendly to you. If 30 is not as friendly to you, you can just start with numbers like 10, 5s, and 10s, and really just work with numbers that you're comfortable multiplying with. But I know that 11 times 30 is going to be 330. That's going to really break this down. Okay, so 3 minus 0 is 3. 9 minus 3, so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 6 there. And then that's 0, right? Now we have 63. I'm going to do 11 times 5. That's going to give me 55. It's pretty close to 63, right? Okay. So now we can't subtract 5 from 3, so we're going to borrow. That's going to become a 5, and that's going to become a 13. Okay, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then that is 0, because 5 minus 5 is 0. So what this means is these numbers right here, this 30 and this 5 here, those are our quotients. That means that 11, that 393 broken up into groups of 11 will give us 
35 groups. So back over here, there are 35 groups of 11. So if we were to take this number right here and to break it up into groups of $11, We'd have 35 groups. We'd have 35 branches off of this with $11. So he would need to mow, mow a lawn, mow 35 lawns, and get paid $11 each time to earn $393. Okay? I'm going to show you that again a little bit more detailed. So basically, if you mowed a lawn, 11, mowed a lawn, that's one time mowing a lawn, two, three, or all these are different times he's mowed someone's lawn, right? Because he makes eleven dollars each time. He would need to do it. We would need to keep going like this thirty-five times for all these eleven dollars to equal three hundred and ninety-three dollars. So, so this is each one of these is him mowing a lawn and earning eleven dollars, and he would need to do that thirty-five times. Okay. All right. So far, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. We need to go all the way to thirty five. And then all the 11s all add up together would equal $393, okay? Okay, so back to our question here. How many more lawns does he have to mow to have enough money for the lawn? Well, we just figured it out. He will need to mow 35 lawns, making $11 each time to earn... enough money for the phone. Now, we did answer that question here, so we are done, but there was one thing that I didn't explain on our division problem, so I'm gonna go over that really fast. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle my answer, because you should always do that. Um, go back to our division problem here. I pointed out our quotients, right, these two right here, but there's this eight down here. I didn't explain what that was. So, if you're at home, know what it is. Go ahead and say it out loud at home or in class, wherever you are watching this. This $8 means what? This $8 is the remainder. That means that if he mowed 35 lawns, whoops, if he mowed 35 lawns, he would make enough money. He'd make $393, but he would have $8 left over. So he'd have $8 left over after he paid for his phone to do whatever he wants. Maybe he goes and he buys a sandwich for lunch, okay? That's an extra amount of money he made. He only would need um, eight, nine, 10, 11, three dollars of one of, of his last time mowing the lawn to go towards his amount of money and the rest and the eight and this little last lawn that he mowed, that last eleven dollars he earned, he'd only need three of it to go towards his phone and the other eight of it he gets to keep. Okay? Okay, so if this doesn't make sense, or if you have more questions or want to see it some more, um, if you're one of my kids right now in distance learning, um, reach out to me, um, and I'd be happy to share more, and you can leave me notes in the comments as well. Thanks, bye.